So knowing that I would never be able to spend two to three grand on a tutor, I ordered a watch from AliExpress uh, with snowflake hands, but the <laughs> marketing imagery only showed a blank dial. Didn't say tutor on it. Had it said tutor, I wouldn't have ordered it, and receiving it in such a way, I can't wear it. Now, if it didn't say tutor, I wouldn't feel bad about wearing it because it's, you know, just kind of a generic homage. I'm sure some people hate that. Uh, I don't necessarily love it. I just, that's all I could, uh, all I could get. So, it is pretty bad. The little pip drool has been, wasn't even there when I received it actually, so it's not like it fell out in shipping because it wasn't in the container either. Or I should say in the bag, that's what it came in. Um, keeps time well. I've had it for a few weeks and haven't had to adjust the time. Date wheel works. Pretty sure that's pressed on. Um, it's obviously a battery powered quartz. A lot of play there. And it's just feels like it's going to fall off and it wobbles back and forth. It catches on itself and really wouldn't have been bad if it just didn't say tutor. The buckle is also full. It has the insignia. I think it's laser etched. Probably the same as the inscriptions there they got in the back. And you can see the band is labeled Tudor as well, up and down the back. It does seem sturdy and well made though. The band that is. I'm pretty sure the case here is made of some type of zinc alloy. Case back, maybe stainless steel. Uh, the same situation has happened to me a few other times when I tried to order some watches that looked a lot like the 2100 series G-Shock. Uh, and when they showed up, fake tags, fake cards, uh, everything's labeled G-Shock. Um, I mean, there's obvious tells. Uh, some are better than others. This is the first time it's happened to me on what would otherwise just be a traditional looking watch. I've gotten unbranded ones in the past. But I would assume that the company thinks they're doing you a favor when in actuality it's just like screwed me because I can't wear this thing. Just the fact that it says Tudor is just wrong. And truthfully, I've never even had the chance to hold a Tudor, let alone own one. Another issue is that uh, they kind of mashed up their series. The only Black Bay 58 dial that has any numerals on it that I could find is the bronze version and this is obviously not bronze colored uh, I also couldn't find one with a black dial and silver 
numerals around the bezel. It's quite the bummer. The hands are a little goofy looking up close. It does kind of look like whatever the crappy loom that they put on there was, it was just caked on the hands and that's probably the only reason they glow for a while. But with no indices glowing, there's no telling where the hands are pointing. <laughs>